Hi everybody. 2023 Audi A8. What's new? Plus package adds upgraded LED headlights. Executive package gains an automatic parking system. Part of the fourth A8 generation introduced for 2019. For the 2022 model year, some changes have been made to the flagship luxury sedan, the 2023 Audi A8. The best sedan from the manufacturer has a longer wheelbase and a 335 horsepower twin turbocharged V6 that is powered by a standard all-wheel drive system. The Audi S8, which has a twin turbocharged V8 engine, is a sportier version of the A8. The optional plus package now includes Audi's HD Matrix LED headlights, and the executive package now includes an automated remote parking assistance system that works whether the driver is seated behind the wheel or standing outside the A8. The A8 otherwise continues without significant modifications. The redesigned BMW 7 Series, which is available with a wider range of drivetrains, including an electric i7 model, presents Audi's top sedan with fresh competition. In a similar vein, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which was recently redesigned, gives the Audi A8 the appearance of being out of date. It is also available in an extremely luxurious Maybach specification. The all-new Genesis G90 model also enters the flagship luxury sedan market, and the Lexus LS, which is frequently overlooked, remains a potential alternative to the A8. Even though the Audi A8 has only been redesigned for half a decade, it already outperforms competitors in a smaller market segment. Read our test team's comprehensive expert rating to learn more about our reasoning. What drives the A8? A car's performance should be almost transparent at this level, allowing passengers to enjoy the true luxury car experience. Summer performance tires, on the other hand, provide the majority of the A8's athletic prowess, as opposed to a more comprehensive approach. The A8 is not at all sluggish, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't benefit from a little more power. Find deals on a used Audi A8 in your area. How about the interior? Simply put, the A8 would have received a higher rating if Audi had continued to use the MMI infotainment system that was on the previous model. The dual screen system is not difficult to understand, but it is not user friendly, and the screens can become dirty after a day of use. It has a lot of features, but it's hard to learn. However, we enjoy the conventional digital instrument cluster. The large windows and thin roof pillars make it difficult to complain about the interior space or visibility. Consequently, parking this large vehicle is relatively simple. There is a lot of room, especially for passengers in the back. The passenger seat can be moved forward on the four-seat configuration, which is an option, to increase legroom in the rear. How is technology? The A8 is absolutely stunning to look at and absolutely stunning to hear. When it comes to in-car technology, one would expect the Audi A8 to be the clear leader of the class. However, the adaptive cruise control system's conservative tuning and a few usability issues demonstrate that there is room for improvement. Fuel economy How much fuel do you use? 
The EPA estimates that the A8 will get 22 mpg when driving both on the highway and in the city. That is right up there with other executive sedans with similar features. However, despite the fact that the majority of our time with our test vehicle was spent on the highway, we only witnessed one tank barely exceeding 22 mpg. It's possible that the numbers in your vehicle don't match those in the EPA. Is the price of the A8 fair? When a luxury car costs more than $100,000, buyers have a right to expect a lot from their purchase. The A8's exceptional build quality does impress potential buyers. Which A8 is suggested? In addition to paint, trim, and wheel options, Audi offers its flagship sedan in a single A8 L55 TFSI Quattro trim level with four primary option packages. Models of the Audi A8 The 2023 A8 is available from Audi in a single, well-equipped trim level called the L55 TFSI Quattro. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.